In this lesson, we use our uh, knowledge about slope-intercept form to come up with the equation based on a graph that they've given us. And remember that um, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And the general formula is y equals mx plus b. So let's do it. In example uh, letter A, we have to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So the m, we have to find the slope, which in this case they're telling us is negative 3 over 2. And the b, it's hitting right here at 0, 5. So that's the y-intercept. So you put that all together in a nice friendly uh, equation. y equals slope x plus intercept. If you want to try example B on your own, go for it. Let's find the slope, which they give us as 5 over 3. Remember, don't turn that into a decimal or a mixed number. Just leave it as the fraction 5 over 3. It's hitting right here at 0, negative 3 as its y-intercept. So the friendly formula is y equals slope x plus intercept, but in this case I'll just write minus because plus negative looks funny. In example two, we have a picture of a horizontal line and they want to know the equation of it. And do you remember what I told you about horizontal lines? They always start with y equals and they just have a number after them because there's a zero slope. So obviously then D is out because it has an X in it and horizontal lines don't have the X because the slope disappears um, because it's zero. So now the question is, where is it hitting? Is it hitting at negative four? Is it hitting at zero? Or is it hitting at negative three? Where is that Y intercept? If you said choice A, you got it. It's hitting at negative 4. So the equation of this line is y equals negative 4. Last one, example 3. The graph shows the distance remaining to complete a tunnel. Write an equation that represents the distance y in feet remaining after x months. So that sounds like they want us to, we have a picture of a line and they want an equation, so that sounds like mx plus b to me. So let's find the m and the b. Well, the b is pretty easy. I see it's at 0, 3,500. So that's the intercept. And when you go to count the boxes, you have to be super careful. It's not down 4. Because each box doesn't represent 1. When you go down, it's really going down 500 every time. So you have to pay attention to the numbers. If it doesn't go by 1s, you have to pay attention to the numbers. So this is really down 2,000. And to the right, 5. Oh, I'm sorry, 4. So the slope is negative 2,000 over 4, which as a regular number, I mean, you could leave it like that, it just looks bizarre, would be 500. So negative 500. You can put negative 500 over 1, but nobody really does that. Um, so the formula is y equals negative 500x plus 3,500. How much time does it take to complete the tunnel? Well, you see the tunnel is finished right here. There's no distance remaining at seven months. So right off the graph, you know the answer is seven months. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.